My name is Andrew Bronski. I am the Technology Enabled Learning and Teaching Consultant for the Waterloo Region District School Board. Uh, the one I'd love to talk about is a relatively new tool called Mastery View. Um, it's just a whole new different way of looking at assessment. So looking at grading by standards or expectations and more on levels and looking holistically across evidence of learning across a variety of ways of students showing the learning in a variety of tools in Brightspace. So here I am on my Mastery View page. I can see my students off to the left. Uh, and here's my standards expectations across the top. So I can import these from the D12 Standards Achievement Network or just create my own custom ones to use for my class. Uh, on this page, I get really quick oversight of how is my class performing and how are students performing on these standards or expectations. Um, this, even this here is really cool. So I'm looking at listening in order to understand and respond. That skill for my students, I can see uh, half my class is working at level three here, a quarter is working at level two, but I've got another quarter in that level one area. So there's my small group instruction. I need to go and follow up with those kids and work with them. So I get this holistic view overall, but I can dive down into at a specific level too. So if I click in here, um, the reading strand for me as an English teacher, uh, reading to understand a variety of texts. I'm looking at that skill, and when I go into this view for a specific student, I can look at their progress over time. And this is pulling from the assignments tool, from the portfolio tool, from discussions, from quizzes. It's pulling all that information I've seen for the student across one spot and visualizing it here for me. So I can look at this colorful bar graph, look at their progress over time, decide on what level I think they're at, give the students some feedback, and track that progress for them and see where that evidence of learning came from for them. I find this is really powerful and a great new way for teachers to go with assessment. Yeah, uh, I come from an Ontario context. We're really big on the idea of triangulation of assessments. We've got our products, which would be your traditional test, lab, essay, uh, but we focus on observations and conversations, documenting what learning we're seeing from students in the moment in different ways. It's really hard for educators to gather all that data and do something intelligently with it. Master Review kind of brings that all together and gives you this nice cute visualization to look at that student progress and next steps. Yeah, it's, it's a philosophical shift. You can still use the traditional gradebook and grades tool in Brightspace and have your percentages, numbers, whatever you like there, but this is a nice transitionary tool. Use both alongside each other and you might find you get to a point where you feel good about ditching the traditional gradebook and focusing on this idea of mastery.